Hey guys, welcome to Come Again. It's me, it's me, it's the SMC, Shannon Cornthway here, and today I am going to be reviewing the comic book Ghostbusters Get Real by IDW Publishing. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and share with your friends. Stay tuned. <laughs> comic opens with a bumper like the original real Ghostbusters animated series. The No Ghost logo telling the viewers there's been a massive uptake of the spectral energy in New York City. After the bumper, we kick things off with the real Ghostbusters walking the streets in New York City, busting ghosts and doing their thing. The real Ghostbusters get attacked by a ghost in Rockefeller Square and it teleports them to another dimension. But with a protection spell that a friendly witch placed on them to put to repay a favor, they aren't sent to a nexus in which a mysterious god is chosen for them. Instead, they appear in a mirror universe. Not realizing they've crossed the dimensional plane of existence, the Ghostbusters head back to the fire station. Peter quickly realizes everything's in the wrong place and tries to blame Slimmer, only for Ray to discover that Slimer is trapped in an observation tank. Egon realizes that the readings on the PKE meter are wrong, but before he can tell the other guys, Ray releases the slimy spud from the observation tank. But Ray quickly realizes it's not their Slimer, and once again are forced to trap him. The two teams of Ghostbusters quickly meet with much confusion. It's revealed the god who tried to banish them was the Greco-Roman god Proteus. He wants to rid his plane of existence from them because they're the only ones who can trap him. He tells another god that he wants to restore the natural order of things, and that normal men aren't supposed to have power over gods and demons. The two teams of Ghostbusters immediately deduce what has happened and how the real Ghostbusters got into this IDW publishing universe. Although it's, it's not really IDW, uh, I'll go into that a little bit later. The two Egons seem to be on completely the opposite pages, with the real Ghostbusters Egon feeling the only thing they need to try and learn is how they should get, how they can get home. While IDW Publishing's Egon wants to run a full battery of tests on them. The two rays seem to hit it off right off the bat, even geek out together, and they complete each other's thoughts. The IDW Winston is the one who suggests showing the real Ghostbusters the interdimensional um, gateway they have in the basement, from which they created with IDW's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when they have had their crossover about a year before this issue, this four issue part took place. But I'll talk more about that in another video. Here's where things start to get a little bit funnier. Janine shows up and mistakes the animated Egon for her boyfriend, Roger, because Roger looks exactly like Egon looked in the Extreme Ghostbusters animated series, complete with ponytail, all that jazz. The two teams have to join forces rather quickly to take down some rogue spirits. But at the same time, Proteus makes his way to the Extreme Ghostbusters universe. He comes across the Extreme Ghostbusters and realizes that they're not the ones he's looking for which completely leaves the Extreme Ghostbusters seem dumbfounded as to what, what the hell that was. Eventually, we get to see how Proteus travels between dimensions, and we get to see a uh, few alternate universes that contain Ghostbusters in them. Of these realities, we get to see what appears to be a Disney version of Ghostbusters, as well as the Filmation Ghostbusters. For those of you who don't know, the Filmation Ghostbusters was the first actual team of Ghostbusters, way before the Ghostbusters we know and love. It was a live action TV series back in, I believe the 70s, called The Ghost Busters. And of course, the uh, studio obtained the rights from them and during the 80s after the movies were released, they came out with, they had to call it The Real Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters, because at the same time there was an animated series called Filmation's Ghostbusters. So that's where that comes from. So anyway, it's also revealed that Peter basically cannot stand himself. And even asks the Egons, If I punch this guy, will I break the universe? To which both Egons simultaneously say no. It's then that both Winstons end up holding back the two Peters from uh, exchanging blows. It's then the IDW Peter, which is 
basically the movie universe Peter Venkman tells that version of Winston that he wants to crack the the animated version of Peter in the skull to which Winston replies that he's real familiar with that over the course of the story it's shown that all the version all both teams of Ghostbusters are able to get along with each other uh, and that they pretty much act as the same uh, two sides of the same coin pretty much with the exception of the two Peters they throughout the story they just cannot get along at all they constantly are on the verge of uh, attacking each other and it just really shows that how all the other Ghostbusters feel about Peter when Peter has to cross paths with himself and has to tolerate himself so that's really cool eventually the two teams come face to face with Proteus and after Janine and Kylie throw a paperweight or something at Proteus Proteus transports the two girls to Japan just to uh, keep them out of the way it's revealed when the Ghostbusters finally capture Proteus that the reason he was uh, after them was because whoever captures, whoever's able to capture Proteus, he has to show them the future. So he shows eight men, eight futures, all at once, and it's too much for God or man. Without completely ruining the ending, I want to say that this this story was a really good read. I love what IDW is doing with Ghostbusters franchise. I love how they've taken the film universe from the first two movies and the uh, video game, which I have right, right up there. Um, and they've basically put it into a comic book form. Uh, the earlier issues of IDW Publishing's Ghostbusters, uh, they tried to stick as close to the uh realistic versions the actor's appearance as possible but now they're kind of drifting away from that they're still trying to take inspiration from that to show it's still the same universe but they're making them a little bit more uh giving them more of a comic booky feel uh, it's not so realistic it's um it's just a fun look a fun design for them personally i'll give the story a nine out of ten the only way it could have been better was if they would have uh featured a little bit more of the extreme ghostbusters and filmation's ghostbusters i think that really has a lot of potential i think if they do a, a sequel to the story they should show like maybe the real ghostbusters interacting with filmation's ghostbusters i think that would be really cool uh, a really co cool story for them to do there is however going to be a, a kind of a sequel to this coming out i believe it's coming out in march it's going to feature the 2016 Ghostbusters from the female team teaming up with the original Ghostbusters. Um, basically, the, mer the universe is merged, and these two teams of Ghostbusters have to join forces and all this. So, uh, Which, there's actually going to be even more Ghostbusters than that, because in this IDW publishing universe, we've also got Ghostbusters International, which features uh, Kylie, an FBI agent who's become a Ghostbuster, and an ex-con. Uh, and eventually the ex-con joins with uh, the rookie from the Ghostbusters video game uh, in Chicago to become the Ghostbusters Chicago. So I, I, I bought a few issues on dig digital format of the idw ghostbusters and i really like the direction they're going with this i can't wait for the uh 2016 ghostbusters to meet the original versions of ghostbusters in the comics i'm really excited for that so um here's hoping that they do a good job with that being said i'm going to go ahead and end this video take care guys And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.